Good morning. <clears throat> um, this is proof that I do change clothes and I do shower. I don't know, you probably can't tell my hair's wet. Uh, it's, yeah, I do. Not regular. <laughs> um, I cooks right on cue. She's been downstairs this whole time. What's up, lovely lady? Come on. I wanted to share with you how I meditate. Um, I know a lot of people want to meditate. And the biggest obstacle is, I, one, I don't know how. And then, and two, I can't get my mind to shut up. You know what? It's okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a big one on um, visuals. I'm really good with, like, that's how I connect is with visuals. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I first really, really figured out meditation in the shower. Um, and it would slow me down and I would spend more time in the shower. Um, <laughs> uh, so while I'm in the shower, there's a couple of things that I did when I first started and, and just learning to visualize, uh, and to quiet my mind. And that would be, um, to, I was a carnelian fasted carnelian covered in mud and I would stand in the shower every day and visualize <clears throat> the water washing away the mud and the clay the dirt the rocks uh, to reveal the crystal that was underneath and <clears throat> months it took months because there was no way <clears throat> even in reality um, that, you know, one rainstorm is going to wash all the dirt away from a crystal, right? I think it was probably a month that I stood in the shower that nothing moved off of that crystal. The water ran down the crystal, but it never carried away any debris. It never, <clears throat> never once did I see just a, a hint of a crystal peeking through, you know, that clay shell. Um, and that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Uh, I wanted it to take time, and I wanted it to become a process. Uh, and I never spent more than seven minutes in the shower. I did my shower first, and then I stood there for as long as I could actually stand the process. Okay, so it's not like I was doing it for an hour and wasting all this water. Um, <clears throat> seven minutes, and I'm probably three and a half of that was meditating. Um, because there's no bigger go home <laughs> in meditating. And it's also a process that works for you. So, um, eventually, <clears throat> the, uh, the shell started to move off of the cornelian. And I could see the top of the head and the shoulders. Uh, and then I could see the arms and the back of the neck. Uh, and then the face started to appear. And then the body. Um, I never fully removed all the dirt never fully even when I go back and reveal it or relive it or revisit it yeah revisit it um, even when I go back and revisit it now um, if I'm trying to like reseek myself uh, I get into a meditation process um, again um, there's always still something on that carnelian or the carnelian is completely covered again but the rain removes it faster um, then I moved from from that to staying in the shower um, and visualizing as I meditated um, all the body oils all the soap and everything going down the drain and taking whatever toxin I was dealing with at that time was taking it down the drain as well taking it away from me um and then and putting it back in the earth um i know lately um so that was another one that and that one was very successful for me as far as like starting my day or ending my day uh meditating and then going to bed and actually having a um a quiet mind so i could sleep um 
another thing on, on meditation too is once I got past the visualizing and I just wanted to just sit and listen, just sit in quiet and listen. Uh, we're so connected. We're so connected. You know, TV, cell phones, computers, uh, our, uh, and because we're connected, we we run at a frantic pace because we have, you know, our calendars and, and, you know, we're getting reminders pop up of things that we need to do. And so in our minds, our mind is keeping that calendar on time for us. We don't, I mean, we need our, our calendars and we need our reminders on our phone, but our mind's already doing it because it's our mind that's reminding us to look at our calendar on our phone to keep us on track for the day. We don't need to be that busy. I mean, honestly, we don't. Um, so when I would sit and meditate, I found out I can't lay down and meditate because I fall asleep immediately. But when I sit and meditate, I'll go somewhere quiet and knock all the, the animals out of the room. Um, to start, um, as I progressed, the animals actually helped me. Um, but, um, so I would just, just sit and be quiet. Uh, and I didn't have a, like a lotus position or a finger position. I didn't have that. It wasn't there yet. Um, and I would just close my eyes and just, and just let it go and just visualize everything Instead of going into the dream, just going out to the universe, right? And then every time, because all I, honestly, all I wanted was a blank movie screen. Like right before the movie starts. Just a blank movie screen was my goal of nothing. And then sit and look at that movie screen and listen. And then something might pop up. And it might be, you know, uh, a symbol a peace sign, a heart, uh, something that resonated with me, it would pop up and it would go away. And I'd be, oh my God, I disconnected, right? But up until I got to that point, every time I looked at that movie screen, uh, if something popped up, my calendar, my route, uh, a fuss that I had with somebody, uh, uh, something that, you know, I was really looking forward to doing, I would um, get a squeegee in my mind, I would take a squeegee and, and clean the window and get that thought off of there and I'd be back looking at that movie screen. So anytime anything popped up that kept me from uh, being quiet, I squeegeed it off and then I had a clean slate again. Um, trust me, I was squeegeeing like crazy. Wax on, wax off. I'm not, oh my god, just squeegee, 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 squeegee. And it was frustrating, but I kept revisiting it every day and I didn't sit there for 20 minutes. I maybe sat there for three to five. That's an eternity when you're starting. That's an eternity. Um, and I put on uh, a timer on my phone. And I had to get past that. Like putting a timer on my phone for me just to sit and be quiet for three minutes. Because my mind would immediately watch the countdown on the phone so I could get done. Like it's this crazy push and pull, push and pull. Um, and so I learned to trust the timer. The timer was going to go off. I didn't have to help it. Um, and I learned to accept that my mind was going to be busy and I needed a little bit of help to squeegee it off. Um, and that's, so the, now that's where I am today. Uh, plus I joined a meditation group which helps. Um, Groups are groups are good because you got somebody to bounce ideas off of. Uh, fellowship is good. Um, <clears throat> if I found the right church, I would go to church. Uh, not to be religious, um, but to go and meet people and speak to people about same spirituality. Um, so I don't. The church is not bad. It's not bad. We need to fellowship. Um, but you just got to find the right one for you. I really hate that everybody like listens to the preacher and puts all, everything, all the faith in the preacher and then they never look inward on themselves. Because uh, the preacher is just a man. And the Christian doctrine was written by just a man. Right? So the story was told. Um, but what was physically put on paper and passed down by men. Don't put your trust in men. Put your trust in here, in your spirit. 
uh, and not to get off on that, but I mean, I think it's just, it's just part of it. It's part of the meditation process that I went through, uh, and then finding a group and the support from that group. I can meditate at a drop of a hat now. Um, I still meditate in the shower. Um, I meditate before I go to bed. Um, I have found times if I'm on a long stretch of road, um, it's not good. I will find myself wanting to meditate because the, the driving is so boring. And then it's just not good. So don't meditate while you drive, unless somebody else is driving. <laughs> um, so, but try it. Start it a minute and then go to two minutes and go to three minutes. Um, and see where you can get to, to where you your your mind is quiet, and you can listen. Um, that's and well, that, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story, a whole nother cup of coffee. Um, is when you do start to listen, don't squeeze it away. It's it's not all of that um, that AM chatter. It's like seriously crystal clear picture or words or thought that you need to take heed or you need to listen to that's what I want to say take heed and it's like you know, strong um, the other thing too just um, take note oh my crystals are gone um, every once in a while I have to take them all off and uh, I don't know give myself a break and cleanse them. Um, so I put them in some salt water and uh, burnt some sage and sage myself and start over clean slate. Um, because my crystals, even though I do keep a citrine on me at all times, like a legit one, um, they're eventually going to build up. The citrine's going to keep the negativity at bay and keep my thoughts positive. But the other ones that I carry, they're just eventually going to fill up. Um, I don't do um, a new moon or full moon cleansing ritual. Um, I don't do a ritual. Uh, I just do a cleansing process. Um, <clears throat> some people like to have um, a reminder of a moon uh, to do their crystals once a month. Um, and that's great. Uh, but don't think that you have to have that to cleanse your crystals. You can do it anytime. You can do it any way you want to. Um, because it's the intent. It's the intent of of cleansing them, of cleaning them, of emptying them out, and um, starting over fresh. Um, if I had to wait every time for a moon to start over fresh, I would be crazy. Um, so, I just put them in some salt water. Um, that's my ritual, or my... Uh, the intent of the salt is, the, is cleansing uh, and then I'll get them put back on and then we'll start again um, <clears throat> I was getting a lot of residual I was carrying a lot of weight on my shoulders and uh, it was it was time and I'm really excited um, today or tomorrow you know put all my crystals back on <clears throat> say a little prayer and start over and and see see the clarity and the messages that I start to get again um, but um, do you meditate do you have a do you do that every day do you, how long do you do it um, if you do let me know I love learning what other people do do you cleanse your stones um, how do you do it um, I'd love to know I really would love to know um, because then um, I learn. I learn different things and I can try new experiences um, and I can thank you for them. Uh, and so that's today. And just remember, be peaceful, be kind. It's important.